Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Geneva. This is Geneva in general. And it seems like the bombs, okay, just continue to drop on all the WNBA's major players. Uh, not just the players, but of course the head coaches who, has, who keep continuing to get fired. Just yesterday the news dropped that the Indiana Fever's head coach, Christy Sides, she just got the boot. And then the other day, the same day that that news broke, Jerrica Hamby had shared a cryptic message on her Twitter. They're talking about, you know, how she's, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, the birds are chirping, because apparently the Las Vegas Aces general manager in their front office, Natalie Williams, she just has now also been fired. I'm going to read you an article from Sports Illustrated titled, The Erica Hamby Spreads a Joyful Message Amid Las Vegas Aces Surprising Leadership Change. So again, like she, as you guys all know, she still has a pending federal lawsuit against them, Las Vegas Aces, the WNBA, and Becky Hammond, the head coach of Las Vegas Aces. So I guess she has beef with the, the, the general manager of the front office, Natalie Williams. Perhaps she had something to allegedly do with her being traded away from the Vegas Aces. But it reads, back in August, Los Angeles Sparks forward De'Erica Hamby filed a lawsuit against the Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA to the U.S. District of Court of Nevada that alleges that Hamby was the victim of repeated acts of intimidation, discrimination, and retaliation during the time she was pregnant leading up to and following her trade to the Sparks in 2023. This Hamby suit accuses members of the ACE staff, specifically the head coach, Becky Hammond, of mistreating her upon finding out that she was pregnant, including Hammond questioning her dedication and commitment, plus her telling Hamby that she must vacate team-provided housing. While the lawsuit's outcome is still yet to be decided, Hamby's allegations have prompted a lot of criticism for Hammond and the ACE's front office in recent months. It was announced on Saturday that the Aces were not, are not renewing the contract of GM's Natalie Williams in a move they described as the start of a restructuring of the front office per an October 26 article from the Las Vegas Review Journal's Callie Finn. It is unknown whether there's an, any correlation between Hamby's lawsuit and the Aces' ownership's decision to not renew Williams' contract. What's for sure is that shortly after the announcement was made, Hamby sent a particularly cheery message on Twitter. She, this is what she tweeted, right? She said, what a beautiful day. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and the sky is blue, Hamby wrote. His fans are noting that Hamby could be feeling good because of this news from the Aces franchise where she played from 2015 to 2022. That's a long time to be playing on one team. Says, or Hamby could just be feeling blessed and grateful this Saturday. Either way, it's clear that not just the Aces player roster will be undergoing changes this offseason. There you have it, guys. The Las Vegas Aces have decided that, that they are also going through a restructuring, okay, not just like the team, but the uh, the entire Las Vegas Aces organization. They just got rid of Natalie Williams. She was the former front office GM, the general manager. So again, like people are saying like, you know, this is just confirmation that the team, the Las Vegas Aces, the Erica Hamby's karma, okay, is going to continue to strike. They said like that, that, they said that this is just a tipping point, okay? It's rumors much rolling around. I was doing some reading on Twitter. They saying that, you know, they just starting with Natalie Williams, they're gonna continue to go up and down the ladder. They saying that eventually, hopefully not, in my opinion. I don't want this to happen. Perhaps Becky Hammond might be out too. And it's just like it's crazy. Because again, like a lot of the uh, Las Vegas Aces players are going into free agency. There's been rumors and whispers that Kelsey Plum, okay, aka okay, Plum Dog, she's trying to go to the Valkyries, okay, the the latest uh expansion team of the WNBA. And, you know, it's just really, really it's heartbreaking, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's just like you become attached to these women, even the coaches, and seeing everybody getting fired, everybody getting out of their job. Some of them, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was kind of like neutral, like Kurt Miller. I ain't care about the Sparks. I was like the Sparks suck so bad. If this is what what's needed to happen in order to, to get them to where they need to be, maybe this is just what's best for both of them, right? Tanisha Wright, she got fired from being the head coach of the Atlanta Dream again. She has some like good plays. She got Ryan Howard, Tina Charles. It's like perhaps again, this is just what needs to take place in order to get the team. Where they need to be so it is what it is but you know um you know the, the team chemistry the las vegas aces nobody can deny it and um it's painful when you see like certain women go from one team to the other like i'm not i will not be ready okay it's gonna take me some adjusting to get used to not seeing asia wilson side by side with kelsey plum it's like if she's leaving perhaps that's what they say that's the rumors who else is gonna be leaving okay my kinetic sons dj carrington she's a restricted free agent but Alyssa Thomas, Dewana Bonner, who else? I think Tiffany Mitchell, some other like key players of the Connecticut Sun. They're all going to free agency next year. And it's like, it's just going to be crazy to see who's getting traded to Brown. You know, some of the veterans, perhaps they might be uh, out, such as the Chicago Sky veterans. I hope so. Izzy, Diamond to Shields. And what's the girl name? Dana Evans. I hope they go. Bring in some young blood. Let's get Raven Johnson, Tahina Pow Pow, you know, last tier Poa. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's spice it up some, okay? But, um, you know, it's just, it's just, 
it's really interesting to see what the structure, the new structure, right? All these teams are claiming that they're in the middle of rebuilding, they're restructuring. It will be very interesting to see how it takes place come 2025 in the WNBA season. I cannot wait, guys. We're like, what, five, six months away? We gotta wait until next May. And um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm excited, but at the same time, guys, it's gonna be hard for me to adjust to seeing certain players gone. You know, we're gonna have to still see who the new head coaches are. I got a report on six teams that just kicked off their head coaches. And I, I'm still waiting. I'm curious every day. I'm looking up articles. I'm trying to see, like, if Chicago Sky, when they're going to announce. Because I'm really, again, that's my number one team. I'm really excited to see who's going to take the place of t a spoon, right? Teaspoon, who just got fired. Is she gonna, perhaps going to be going to another team, right? With, will Spoon coach another team? So it's, it's just crazy. So, again, guys, comment down below your thoughts on the Las Vegas Aces firing the general manager, Natalie Williams. Do you believe that this, this is it? For the Vegas Aces, because again, like we didn't, we seen all the, at least half so far of the WNBA head coaches have been let go. I really am praying for Becky Hammond's protection. I don't want her, okay, to to bear the brunt of the curse of De'Ara Hamby.